well, good morning, at least as I'm filming this. Um, first, guys, I, I can't say thank you enough uh, for following along. We're like six pages into this and over a hundred posts, and really, I, I wouldn't be this far without you guys and all the help. So, thank you. I, I know this might be annoying to some. Uh, I apologize, but really, your help is uh, immensely appreciated, and I can only help hope that whatever I learn from you guys, I can pass on somebody, someday to somebody else. So this is where we're at. Yeah, we got a lot going on here. Um, so what I've done is, I've got these little, well, I'm sorry, these little cleaning things. I think I've showed them before. I pulled off the uh, the tip there. And I've used them as wedges because what was happening was, let me get out another pointer. What's been happening is the field has been twisting, twisting, twisting. So I've used these wedges and they have like a taper to them um, as wedges. And I've slowly turned them to hold the field in place um, because I just wasn't getting there with the screws. Uh, and I've got one on this side, and I've got one on that side. Because I also think what was happening was it was twisting. The field was twisting. Get my hands further away. It was twisting like this. Um, so this is where I'm at. Um, I've got the multimeter on as well, just to watch voltages. And with these wedges in place, we're at 5 volts, 5.6 volts. Sounds pretty darn good. Let's give it a little more juice. There's 7 volts, 8, 9. Let's put it at the top range. There's 12. You can hear the wedges are starting to work their way out. So, as the way, so I've got to get this where I want it. Um, tap, tap that way. Um, now I know some people said that, let me see if I can get that there to lighten up, that the field is too far to one side, but when I get an equal gap on that field, oh wow, it sounds horrendous. Um, but like this, it sounds pretty darn good, comparable to some of the other uh, diesels I, I have in run. So anyway, this is getting to be long. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for listening. Holy cow, couldn't be here without you guys. Now I just got to figure out the best setup and then how to put the field screws in so that I can maintain that because I can't run it with wedges. Thank you again.